This person wanted to know a little bit more about my narcissistic brother. And if you're new here, I share my personal experiences having suffered from narcissistic abuse in both intimate family relationships to help other people heal. My narcissistic brother is one of the most toxic people I've ever known in my life. And he's been the, I would say, eternal bully throughout my entire childhood and even into adulthood. You would think that once you hit adulthood, that some of that bullying and childishness really would go away. Not with a narcissist. Narcissists are really children inside who don't really have any sense of self. And they really get off on just making other people feel terrible. When I was a child, I think most of the things that I mentioned to my parents just sort of fell under the category in their minds of just like bullying. This would be things like name calling, harassing me, bugging me to get off the phone, teasing me at school. But then it also had other things involved like chasing me to my room with a knife, wrestling me on the ground and pinning me down and not letting me move. As we grew older, it turned into a sense of like I owed him something. Like if I knew people where either he was trying to get a job or a friend of his was trying to get a job, I basically like owed him like getting a referral for him or that person. When I lived near him, I basically owed him babysitting duty. And if I ever talked back to him or pushed back on him or told him not to talk to me in a certain way, it would be immediately like cutting me off from his children. Like the current state is right now. I have three nephews and a niece, and I have unfortunately been no contact with them for several years, um, not by my own choice. I have witnessed him verbally abusing his wife as well as his children. I have seen him do this in very large family settings and nobody calling him on his BS, myself included, unfortunately. This was way before I was really aware of what was going on or really before I was brave enough to even speak up. My brother generally holds the family hostage because he will be so aggressive and so verbally abusive to his immediate family, now his wife and his children. And when he's around other families, anybody speaks out against him, it's, it's immediate verbal attack. My brother is so aggressive that I've said to people many times across the course of my life that if I ever am found to be unalived, it's you know, look to him first. He is that aggressive in his tone and in his demeanor. And he feels that empowered and entitled to do whatever he wants and, and to say whatever he wants. Now, has he ever been physically abusive to me in my adult life? No. Have I ever seen him be physically abusive to anybody uh, in his adult life? No, not technically. And this is where I feel like the law and like actual abuse, they don't really intersect well with each other. The law will only prosecute people or protect people if there is some sort of physical abuse that's happening. We are behind the times. Mental, emotional, and psychological abuse is a very real thing. But the way, unfortunately, the court system looks at it, and also, unfortunately, the most of society looks at it is... If it's bad, just leave. I hate that word just in that sentence. It's like the most infuriating word ever. Because emotional, uh, because emotional and psychological abuse is basically the precursor to physical abuse. Do I think he's physically abusive? Maybe. Probably. I asked my family several years ago, it was about three years ago, uh, to step in. I was like, we have mental illness in the family and we need to all address this as a family. My family's pretty much taken the stance of, it's not really our place to say anything. And I finally pushed back on that narrative and I was like, it is the family's place to say something. If it's like, <laughs> that, that, that is the only people I feel like that it is actually their place to say something. But everybody's so scared to say anything to him and to push back against him. Generally, though, my brother does not really have a relationship with anybody in my family except for my narcissistic mother and my codependent father. And I'm one of seven, and he doesn't really have a relationship with any of his other siblings at all whatsoever. He only wants to have relationships with people that he can control or that people that support him being able to control. And one other thing I wanted to say is that even though I've been no contact with my narcissistic brother for several years at this point now, um, he became aware of these TikToks that I was posting. He immediately launched into a smear campaign, uh, did everything he could to turn my parents against me, my siblings against me. 
My parents definitely fell to him because of course they would because they support him. And he even convinced my codependent father to have a family meeting to talk about how destructive I am to the family. Fortunately, I had enough people in the family dynamic that were like, that doesn't sound like what's happening or a conversation that I want to be a part of. No thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, he has, you know, done everything he can to turn everybody against me, which I, I pretty much saw was going to happen anyway, but I refuse to be silenced by my abuser any longer. So everybody wave to my narcissistic brother in the comments because he's probably looking.